Elle Hay, living north of Fairbanks, Alaska, on a small farm called Happy Creek Farm. And I am feeding today. I also had to re queen a colony. This colony has been doing great. She's got a red queen in her from last year. The genetics were fabulous last year. And all that's happening right now is this hive is preparing for winter. It's about 50, 60 pounds, closer to 50. I need to be about 80 to 100. There's 10 frames in this deep box and I need 10 of them full of reserves made from the sugar syrup that I've been feeding them. Which is not honey, but it'll look like honey. My apiary is on a small slant. And so sometimes when I put boxes and stuff down, particularly the feeder, stuff will drip. I don't like it. You can see the bees flying around. It's about 50 degrees out, a little bit after 8 p.m. One of the things I've been having to do is clean out the feeders. This is where the bees climb underneath the plastic to get to the feed. It's supposed to keep them from drowning. And it has every year that I've used these polystyrene hives. Up until this year, when I started using Hive Alive. <laughs> no ding against Hive Alive. Great products. But they've really wanted the syrup. And maybe this is a spurious relationship I'm putting here. Maybe there's no correlation between the Hive Alive and the plugged up feeders. It could be the season. It really could. Because we've had a very strange season. My sunflowers are blooming now. And that should all be done. Should have been done weeks ago. We were in a pollen dearth weeks ago. But now we're in a pollen revival of sorts. Wild roses and domestic roses are blooming again. We're having more dandelions bloom. This is not normal. I've been here for over 30 years. I've never seen anything like it. And I, I talked with a bunch of other gardeners and farmers and they're seeing the same thing. It's very strange. Our light is decreasing, which is what happens this time of year. But we do have a lot of light. Our sun's not going down until about 9.30 p.m. Like I said, it's about 8 p.m. right now, a little bit after 8, close to 8.30 probably. Our air temperature is warmer than normal. It's about 50 degrees right now, maybe 55. I usually check right before I come out here. But I didn't because I had to requeen a colony. I was excited I need to get that queen in there as soon as possible. So. I have seen the bees taking advantage of the sunflowers and the roses and the poppies, which is great because that's the best nutrition for them. But I've been supplementing their feed now for about a month because that's what happens every year in anticipation that there is no food for them and it's time for them to put up stores. They've been real active. And the type of bees that I like to use are typically active in colder temperatures, rainy weather, crappy weather. But the flower is blooming. It's global warming. It's hitting us three times faster than it's hitting others, us in the subarctic. So my subarctic bees and beekeeping practice might be all irrelevant in the next 10 years or so. Hopefully not. I like the subarctic. Our honey's extraordinary. I suppose it's going to be extraordinary any, anywhere you get it, you know, where it's not mass produced. Taking a while to clean out these dead bees. There's quite a few of them. I want this colony to be able to chill out, 
take advantage of the blooms, the blossoms, and put away reserves for winter. Our winters have been getting warmer, although last year was a kicker. We had, I don't know, well, it got to 52 below degrees Fahrenheit at my place, our place. And it was 35 degrees below zero for weeks, not days, not because of a wind chill factor, but because that's our climate and our environment. Hear that? I can't lift the feeder. That's great. These bees are making a lot of propolis. They're sealing up for the winter. I gotta crack it. And set them down here. And I just wanna look at the hive. I'm not gonna pull frames. I don't see any dysentery. They're active, they're healthy. They're moving together. They're humming contentedly. I'm not worried about anything with this colony. They've been doing great. Just, have a, just had a cool breeze come through. I'm gonna scrape off some burr comb. I don't have a queen excluder on here. Although if you'll notice, they're all over on this side, if you can see, I'll tilt the hive. They're all on the right side of the hive. Not sure why the queen might be up there right now, but I'll take advantage of it and scrape off this burr comb so the lid will fit. I don't want them to have to work harder than they are already. Oops. And then I'll add some feed. They're out of pollen patty and they're out of fondant, so I'll add both and then I'll replace the syrup. This bee is trying to almost, looks like, eat the burr comb. They're hungry. They're real hungry. I'm going to put the smoker right here. Keep it going to kind of move these bees over. I want to use both hands to do this so I don't jar the frame so much. As soon as I put that pollen patty on here, they're going to come right up for it, and the fondant especially. They like that. There is a dry pollen feeder right there that they've been getting into. They pack that into their little pollen pockets, take it back into the hive, and pack it into the cells. My smoker's been working great today, by the way. Thanks for asking. There's some bearding going on on the outside of the hive. That's when they gather up. And that's just because I'm in here and some syrup has dripped off. So you can't move like normal. I can't flick things around. It is threatening to them, like it is to most creatures. Moving fast. There's the train. I don't want you to have to listen to the train. I'm going to put some fondant on here and some pollen patty, and I'll close up this hive, put the feeder back on so they're getting their syrup tonight, and replace the wool blanket, help them keep the warmth in. We had a few freezing nights, a few frosty nights, but that has stopped. Haven't had any since. Highly unusual. And it's enjoyable, don't get me wrong, but it's, it's not right. The walruses are having a hard time, literally. The polar bears are having a hard time. The seals are having a hard time. Not having access to the pack ice that they need. But this is a video about bees. So I'll stop talking about the walruses and polar bears. Take care of yourselves, take care of your bees. Ukraine is winning. This video is copyrighted and all rights reserved. See you later.